Hey guys, it's Steph. Um, I am just filming an intro for this right now because I realized that the video didn't really have one, so it's just on my MacBook. Sorry about the quality. And that's why I'm wearing a different outfit because this video was filmed a couple days ago. So, um, I just wanted to introduce myself because Emily and I haven't put up a video together yet, but I am half of this channel. She is the other half, and she's my best friend. So, We'll be filming videos together soon, and that is everything. So this is my July favorites video, and the reason it starts off kind of like choppy is because my camera died, and then I started off and I was just like, okay, my camera just died, so I was a little bit frustrated. So it was a little bit annoyed when I started the video, so hopefully that doesn't come off too much, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So my favorite lip balm ever is a Neutrogena, not Neutrogena, I'm crazy, Nivea Hydro Care lip balm. Looks like that. Like a little glue stick almost. That's what it reminds me of. But I love this. It's really moisturizing. I use it every day. And it lasts for a long time. Like I usually lip balms kind of just like sink into your lips and they're gone in like 20 minutes. This does not do that. It lasts for a long time. I also really like um, the Seal Bigelow lip gloss. This is peppermint. It like makes your lips feel tingly and it's not thick and it's not sticky. I really like it. And it just like smells nice. There's a bunch of different flavors of this too, or scents I guess. But um, the e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine with SPF 15. This color is called Pink Kiss and it literally just looks like that color. That's what it looks like on your lips. Like it doesn't change at all. And it's really pigmented and really like smooth. I really like it. Then, last lip product is the Revlon Super Lustre Lip Gloss, and she has like a doe foot applicator. And this is in color 170 Coral Reef, and I have a swatch in my hand, that's what it looks like, if you can see it. It's in a really nice coral color, it's like a creamy coral. I have an e.l.f. pigment eyeshadow from the Studio line in Golden Goddess. It's really pretty. I'm wearing it right now, actually, if you can tell, like, right under my eyes and on my upper lash line. Um, looks ugly in the container, but looks like that. Really nice bronze color when it's on. It's really, really pigmented, too. I love it. And um, mascaras I like. L'Oreal Double Extend, the primer side. Just a regular brush like that. Everyday mascara I use, which is probably going to be my favorites every time I do a favorites video, is going to be this mascara because I love this. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes. Looks like that. It's a, like the plasticky kind of brush. Love it. Um, then on top of that, I like to layer mascaras, as you can probably tell since I have three in my favorites video. Um, this is the Hard Candy Ginormous Lash. These are all in black, by the way. This color is called Blackout. It's just that same kind of brush as the Double Extend. I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Mills. This is everyone's like favorite base for eyeshadows. It just like really makes them pop. It's really awesome. At first when I was like seeing how everyone like loved it, I was like, what's the big deal? It's just white. And, and now I use it like every day. I use it in my inner corner. I use it on my brow bone, which I have it on both of those today. I use it... Um, as a base, like everything. So, on to face products. First, I have the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection, which looks like that. I don't use these individual colors, I just like sweep it around my brush and just like put it all over my face. Next for face, another powder is my CoverGirl Oil Control Pressed Powder from the Clean line. This is in color 525, which is buff beige. It's like the second lightest color they have. Maybe third lightest. I'm really pale. And just boring. No shimmer or anything. Just matte. Because I have pretty oily skin, so I like this. Um, concealer. I like the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. And this has been compared to the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer, which is the reason I got it. And it's in the color light, by the way. Because um, I'm pale, once again. I have a tattoo on my wrist, if you can see it. It says Hakuna Matata, and I am going to teaching 
and I'm like when I'm an actual teacher it's not a huge deal to have tattoos but like in interviews and stuff they want you to cover them up and like be able to hide them like when I'm teaching I want to hide it too so like I could wear a bracelet but I'm not always going to want to wear a bracelet or a watch so I got this and I tried it on my tattoo and it works really well it's fantastic because if you have a tattoo you want to cover up get this it works really good or you can spend like $32 on the Kat Von D one but this was like $6 so it's like a steal and then um my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. This is a cool color. Um, it's called Baby Blossom. It's a really nice pink color on camera. It's kind of looking a little bit coral, but it's really like a baby pink. And it's really shimmery. You can't see it on camera, but it's really shimmery. But on your face, it's not super shimmery. Like, I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now, if you can see. I don't know if you can. Probably not. Really nice. It opens up on the bottom and there's a mirror and there came with a brush, but I hate the brush that came with it. It's actually terrible. It's really scratchy and like, it's like, hey, it's terrible. So I threw that out and used my own brush. And my last face product is Benefit High Beam. Best highlighter ever, like ever. It is so dewy and like natural looking and beautiful. It's just fantastic. I use it all the time, especially if I'm going out because in pictures, this looks awesome on. And uh, for fragrances, this is from Bath and Body Works, and it's this darkest scent, and it is literally, I want like the lotion and everything that goes with this because it smells like sugar. It smells so good. I absolutely adore it. I wear it like constantly. This is, I've had this since Christmas? Yeah, late after Christmas, and I've used that much. Like, I love this scent so much. I need the full size. I need the everything. The perfume, the lotion shower gel I love it um, last fragrance item is Nautica my voyage which is like looks like this and it, I can't even describe the scent I want to go on the site or like look for it and find what the scent is like described as but it just smells really clean and like aquatic like you'd wear it if you were going to a country club like to play water polo or like go on a cruise or something like that it just smells really really good and I love this I wear this all the time and I got it in a set that came with the shower gel and the body lotion from winners which is a Canadian like chain and I've hardly used any of this and I paid like $20 for it like all three and it's fantastic I love it so it's 1.7 fluid ounces um, that is everything I'm going to film this three times. My camera keeps not functioning properly, which is driving me insane. Um, lastly, before I go, I have three questions for you guys. Um, have you ever heard of Alibi Daily Exfoliating Face Wash? I got this for Christmas from my great aunt, and I'm terrified to use it. It's an exfoliator. It's really, really watery. I don't, I'm really scared to use it. I want to try it because it's like a waste. Just throw this out. It's 185 grams. And I really want to try it, but I'm scared to. I'm really scared it's going to like break up my skin. I want someone to tell me if it's good or not. So if you guys know anything about this, please tell me. Um, also, the Moss Hair Care line. I got these from my same great aunt. And this is the hair mask for vibrant color. I don't dye my hair, so I don't know why she got me this. But I don't know if this is any good. I don't, I'm scared to use it again in case it like makes my hair disgusting. Um, and lastly, the Moss Hair Care combing cream it's volumizing which is good for me because I have really flat hair like my hair is really straight naturally like I don't straighten like this is my hair without straightening it like I just showered a few hours ago and just dry it like this like that's what my hair looks like all the time so I don't know what this is gonna be like I want someone to tell me if it's good or not I'm really scared to try it um so if you guys know anything about moss hair care line or um alibi please tell me because I want to try them but I'm really scared too so um Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.